Okay, uh, I'm making a game with a fellow programmer for a competition on Moosader.com. And basically, this is what I've got. He's still got some stuff he's working on, like a particle engine and his map editor that he's fixing up. And I'll show you basically what I've got. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to compile. Compile. Faster. Alright, I'll pause it real quick. Sweet, okay. Now that it's compiled, basically it's just a simple... Uh, oh yeah, I gotta click to get the input, okay. Simple little dude. A little bit laggy because of the screen recorder, but he has his animation, rotation, movement. Those two, uh, this thing, this uh, code blocks thing, code blocks emblem thing, is just an entity that I'm using, and I'm basically testing that I can render stuff in all one call, because I've made a bunch of managers, like to manage objects, game elements, and I was just testing them. And this guy is a player, which derives from the entity class. So basically my entity manager is rendering all three of these objects um, in one call, and I guess I can show you how that works. And then, yeah, whoops, still running, X, okay. Well, let's go. I'll go to my main and show you how it works. It's a singleton class, and I didn't make an instance of it. I'm just getting the instance from the class. And it's very messy because it's just like a test main, just to test all my stuff out. And basically, uh, I created an entity beforehand, and then because there's two ways of putting an entity into the manager, and I was testing both of them out. And I set the image and stuff, and then I just added the entity as a reference and you can do that and then the entity then is what I did is I created a new entity and I do handle all the memory allocation so don't worry about that and I created a new entity with the code blocks thing at 400 400 and then I added a player which derives from it so a pointer to a player actually is an entity because it's uh, the entity that's parent or whatever polymorphism and my player dot ping, PNG, whatever you want to call it, and then basically just call the entity manager update, which updates them all, and then the render, which renders them all. I, obviously, I'm going to clean it up a lot, but that's basically how it works. I have like a crap load of other managers, image managing, sound managing, everything like that. And here's my player. See, it derives from my entity class. And basically, um, I set my animation up, and basically it's, you put the image name, or I could have put the sprite, but, or the image, either the image sprite or the image name, but the sprite isn't initialized yet. The height and width of the frames, the amount of frames, whether it's vertical or horizontal, it's horizontal by default, but the art that I was using was vertical. And... Then I just add an animation, and that by default adds the top animation, and that's just move, and then, or the, it would do the farthest left on a vertical, and then the next one would be just the next one over to the right or to the down, whether depending on whether you're doing vertical or horizontal. Then my rotate to mouse basically takes the animation sprite and sets this rotation to my, uh, to a function I made, my vector math get rotation angle between the player position and the mouse position. And then I can change animation just by using the string. Handle input basically moves it. Move takes the sprite and moves it, the offset. Update takes the mouse position and sets it to the state, which is a the UI state which I use for my GUI app and I thought I just might use it. Be easy and the player position and then it rotates the it rotates the entity to the mouse or the player I should say and basically the render handles the input because I I could do this in the main which I probably am going to but I'm just too lazy because I just I need an input to use my handle input and the window provides an input so there you go um, here's my UI stage just so you can see what I was going to basically check if the mouse is down, the X, or what items are active and stuff. 
Um, image manager is basically a map of images and you can get the images and it returns you get the image with a name it returns an image and if the image is not yet in your map it adds it pretty simple same for so same exact thing for sound manager and here's my entity manager and I probably might be going close to overtime but you can uh, see it's basically just a vector of entities pointers to entities so that rendering is all I do is I do a simple iteration through all the entity entities and render it or update it and stuff so yeah if you want to add another player you just drive it from entity and you can put it in the entity manager or I can make another manager well, I'm gonna obviously make them for like items and stuff once we get that far but that's it